Yo guys, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Matrix here, coach of the Welsh Waylords. We are bringing you a match... Well, I always get to that bit, don't I? Um, we are bringing you a match versus Gumi of the Rolled Gold Pretzels. Now, Gumi is an opponent I've played a few times up to this point, typically in the VDL. However, we've never managed to actually play on cartridge due to um, scheduling issues between both me and him. We always end up having to force a showdown match happen in limited time. Um, so I've put a bit, so even though this video, what I'm doing today, is actually for a showdown draft league. So um, it's part of the SBF, and typically it's exclusively showdown based. Um, however, we have decided to do this one on cartridge, um, mainly because Agumi keeps pestering me to play him on, um, on carts because he says that the two wins I claimed against him in Showdown don't count because they were played on Showdown. Um, that being said, I do think Gumi's got a good matchup into me this 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 week. My team isn't the best over in SBF; it's pretty low powered. Um, I don't think I'll ever really spoke about my team um, on the channel, the SBF one. So the SBF stands for Sunny Battle, uh, Sunny Sunny Shore Battle Federation, and it might be Sunny Shore City, but you know, whatever. No, Sunny Shore Battle Federation, and I've drafted a really mid-level mid-power team. So I've got a Bronzong, a Zumril, Salazzle, Blastoise, Rhyperia, Gallade, Gorygeist, Rotom Frost, Articuno, Wigglytuff, and High Dragon. Um, my highest costing mon in this point space draft is Bronzong at 14. Um, this week I'm against Gumi, as I say, and he's got on his team Metagross, Politoed, Rotom Heat, Tornadus, Therian, Kumo'o'o, Mamoswine, Rose Raid, Dreadnought, Imp Dimp, Duosion, and Dubwall. So his is a little bit more top heavy than what mine is. Um, He's actually got, but he's got a really good call, like uh, the rain call with Dreadnought and Politoed. Uh, Dreadnought could just come and scarf out Politoed. Um, he's got Metagross, which can be setup based or weakness policy based. He's got uh, Combo or, or which can activate the policy. He's got Tornadus, which is faster than any of my mons. Um, he's got no fake out, which is pretty handy. Um, but yeah, this is the team we're rocking this week. Give you a quick overlook. We bring in the Azumarill, um, which I haven't actually brought it yet once, uh, and this is week four, I believe. So yeah, um, wait, no, week five. We're, um, Welsh Waylords are currently three and one. So yeah, we're bringing the Azumarill with the Assault Vest, uh, Liquidation Play, Rough Ice Punch, and Aqua Jet. Max Attack is nothing too special. Uh, we're bringing High Dragon with Yachty Berry for the Mama Swine and uh, Icy Wind plays. Um, with Draco, Dark Pulse, Protect, and Reflect. Uh, the Reflect, I think, is pretty cool if I can get that off. It's pretty nice into some of his mons. Um, it's also, I, yeah, actually, it's also helpful for Ice Punch Metagross. Uh, bringing Salazzle with a few tech pieces with Overheat, Sludge Bomb, Fake Out, and Thunder Wave. It was Encore in here originally, but I felt like I didn't have enough answers to Rotom Heat, so I need something to hit Rotom Heat for at least 50%. So uh, this is a modest Salazzle, or um, not even a modest one, actually, because um, I wanted to maximize the attack output uh, on the Fake Out chip, um, just because of some of the damage rolls and uh, just wasn't getting them. So, yeah, we've got a... Plus special attacking natured one. It's not even that fast. Um, it's pretty slow actually, but it's literally Tornadus is his fastest mon, and then he's got really middling speed mons after that. Um, we've got Articuno with U turn, Icy Wind, Hurricane, and Freeze Dry. We are running this one uh, Choice Scarf with Pressure. Um, it should outspeed a lot of his um, Scarf mons, but you know, Gumi, he really likes his Scarfs, so what can, what can you say? Um, it's pretty fast though. Um, and then we got Gorygeist. Gorygeist was really awkward for me this week. I wasn't sure what to really do with it. Um, I've just realised that these do not have the Dynamax. It's a good job I'm not trying to Dynamax them. Their levels are not there. Um, so yeah, we got the Gorygeist with Shadow Sneak, Seed Bomb, Poltergeist, and Will-O-Wisp. Um, 
I didn't really know what to do with it item wise. It was really awkward because it can't live any of the special attacks like hurricane and overheats well, I resist berry, but then I need both resist berries. So in the end, and because I'm using sash elsewhere, I just went, okay, well, we'll just won't try and live things then. And we'll just go for a spell tag and just give it a little bit more damage output with the shadow sneak and poltergeists. It does a, uh, a lot for the into the metagross, which is really nice. I was going to run foul play on this originally, but honestly, poltergeist is just as good, I suppose. Um, as long as the weakness policy hasn't been broken. So I've just got to watch out for that. But then this is why we have will o wisp Um, then it's also good for like the Dreadnought and stuff. It, like it, it tanks. It's it's pretty defensively bulky. Um, yeah. And then lastly, we have got a Blastoise. Um, I don't usually run Shell Smash, but we're running a Shell Smash Dark Pulse Ice Beam Hydro Pump set, like a really offensive um, Blastoise set. Uh, <laughs> I say that, and it's still plus nature in special defense. Um, but. That's because I can get the special attack I need elsewhere. Um, yeah, no, this is uh, pretty strong. I'm actually starting to think now, like, should I have actually gone for a physical Blastoise? Not a physical one, but like a physical move instead of Dark Pulse. Might have done more damage into the one I have it for, which is Polito. Hmm. Anyway, that's the team. Uh, I know this has been a long introduction to the video. Uh, sorry about that, guys. Um, and I'll be back with you when I face him. See you in a bit. All right, so we are here up against Gumi. We have connected up. Um, <clears throat> whilst doing the team preview, I decided to change Blastoise from Dark Pulse to Skull because Hydro Pump just does more damage into Politoed, um, even outside of rain. Um, it's negligible, and inside rain, which is what Politoed is likely going to be having up, uh, it does more. So, yes, that is what we've gone with. Um, and then Scold is just a more consistent move across the board. So, here we go. Oh, dear. So, he brings the Dubwool. He brings the Rose Raid. Mons, I was not fully expecting to see. I am Dubwool. Right, okay, I need to think about this. Because if it could be fluffy. It could be bulletproof. Hmm. Most of my mons are special anyway. I've only got a couple of physical mons. <clears throat> I don't know. I think I've just got to lead for that Rotom and Torn and just play around that for a moment. Um, double water types into Rose Raid isn't feeling as good, but Articuno is feeling good coming in the back if it's Scarf. So we'll lead the Salazzle because that's decent and the Blastoise. Just get that tech out of the way. Um, High Dragon has got Dark Pulse on it, which hits that okay. Uh, don't like the Dub Wool though, and the Kamo oh, oh. Hmm. Articuno's coming. I think I'm okay with Azumarill. So I've got Ice Punch. It takes a Leaf Storm, I think. I don't actually know if it does or not. So we're not bringing you that mod. I don't think Mama Swine comes with the amount of mods I've got, but it could do. I'm actually this is this is definitely different to what I was prepping or thought you would bring. But no Metagross either. Didn't think Polytoad would come, didn't feel like uh, it was well suited for him. Rotom and Rose Raid. Okay. Um. So I know Salazzle pressures the Rotom here. No, Rotom pressures the Rose Raid here. Because he's got no fake out. So I'm actually tempted to just go for an Oheat into you. But. I'm going to go for a fake out into you and shell smash up. Because I don't think it can kill me unless it's uh, Thunderbolt. Uh, unless it's Life Orb Thunderbolt. I thought he would go for an Electro Web. That's okay. He doesn't seem to be running a lot of special attack investment on that. 
We we'll still go for the shell smash. Which is nice damage. Um, I'm kind of tempted. Overheat into Rose Raid, I can get away with later. Uh, I don't really want to swap in here, so I need to remove this Rotom. Um, I'm just going to go for the Overheat into the Rose Raid, and I'm just going to Hydro Pump the Rotom. Because I shit out speed. I don't know if that's Scarf Rotom or not, though. Can't see anything. Yeah, I know. I know it, it should be up to that speed. Now, it's not Pasha Berry, which is great. Don't be Sash. Okay, Rotom's dead, which is great for the two, for the two of the monsters up on the back. Leaf Storm into Blastoise. Yeah, that's fine. Blastoise can go down there. And then a nice overheat hit will be good. Yep, the fake out would have broken a sash if there was one. Okay, so Salazzle's speed dropped at the moment, which is kind of annoying. Um, I'm trying to think, what's he got in the back? He's got Tornadus. Which I think could come. Come or all cut in the back. Dub wall. I think Arcuna's just better off coming in here. Uh-huh. Azumarill can take that on. And Tornadus, yeah. Um, so I think a Rock Slide is possible here. Um, Sludge Bomb does do damage into the Kamo'o, but I'm not going to do that. Um, I think I'm going to just Thunder Wave the Kamo'o. And go for an Icy Wind for Chip. Do I lose if I do that? I need the speed drop. Yeah, okay. You might go for the Tailwind, you see. You'll know I'm Scarf now. Yeah, that's definitely an Assault Vest come up. Oh, based on that. And if I can get this Thunder... Oh, Fly! Interesting. Physical Torn? Okay. We get the Thunder Wave off onto the Combat Auto, which is good for the uh, um, Azumarill I have in the back. Because now it's one shot. I mean, that's not going to do enough damage. Okay, so... I'm actually inclined to swap out Salazzle so I can get the pressure back on it. Um... But what I actually like more than anything is getting. If Tornado's has got a speed drop, but Slaz also a speed drop, I go for the Sludge Bomb into the Torn to come back down. And I swap Articuno out into Zuma. Ooh, big damage actually, man. Life orb. But this sludge bomb should be able to put it in range. Clanging scales. Oof. Good job I swapped in my fairy there. Okay, and this should be okay for me now. Because we just freeze dry the tornado slot and play rough into the minus one paralyzed come up. I should be fast enough. Torn goes down. Come on, goes down. GG's, game one. Now, the 
question is, how does he adjust and do I need to change anything? Because he is special combo at all, which I've just got to watch out for. Physical taunt, though? I mean, that's better for my, um... Well, on, it's life form. It's better uh, for the Geist, but... I don't think he learned that I was Assault Pass on the Zoom roll either. So the Salazzle fake out is obviously nice. He didn't reveal Protect on the Rose Raid or the Rotom at the start. I think that Rotom could be... Um, it's not Sash. It could be Scarfed. Ah, the Rose Raid could be Scarfed for all I know. Um, so I'm, I'm inclined to lead the same. Again. Like, I don't see why I wouldn't do this again. He never protected. He never protected. Now, I might not go for the same open play. I don't know if... I think it plus... Without Pasha Berry, I think a Skull KOs Rotom at plus two. Rotom Torn. This is the lead I was expecting the first time round. This is the lead I was expecting the first time round. So, I think he goes for a Tailwind here and Electro Web or Tailwind plus an attack. So, if I need to get rid of that, but there's no Pasha Berry, I can fake out um, Rotom I'm going to. Because he can't do enough damage to me then. And yeah, it's not like he's going to get this, unless he gets for Icy Wind. I understand that he'll go for a Tailwind here, which is fine. <clears throat> but Rotom now is slower than my Blastoise after the Shell Smash. So we're going to go for a Sludge Bomb into the Rotom slot, just in case. I can't. I think Skull picks up the KO. Because Hydro Pump does, no, 160 to 180%. So Skull should be in that range of getting the KO. I'm going to go for the Skull. I don't, I'm just really paranoid about Hydro Pump this here. Unless this is Scarf Rotom. Scarf Rotom would be annoying here. I've gone for the Sludge Bomb in case he... No, it's not Scarf. I went for the Sludge Bomb here in case he goes for... Um, yes, yeah, so... Oh, it is... It is Scarf. Or it's a fast one that outspeeds Blastoise. Okay. Really good that it missed the Slazzle there. Okay, it does pick up the KO. Mm hmm But it's fine, he's wasting his own turn to fly. Blastoise is now back down to just being plus one. A little bit dodgy. Glad to get rid of the Rotom though. So it's, Rotom was faster than 127 speed. Which is what Blastoise is at. Come on, uh oh. Um, we Thunder Wave, the Comma uh oh And I'm just going to go for an Ice Beam into the Tornadus, I think. Okay. Oh, I survived. Jesus Christ, the bulk on this Blastoise. Uh, Clang and Scales. Damn. That's, that's unfortunate.
But uh, it misses. Yeah, okay. Not as good. I'm going to bring a zoomer out here because of the tailwind still being up. For one more turn. Uh, Slazzle should die here, so. Um, there's not a lot here I can do with the Salazzle. Um, I will then go for a potential Thunder Wave into the Torn, I think. Nah, we'll go for a Sludge Bomb. No, you know what? It's going to die. Go for the Overheat. Play Rush into the Comet uh oh I should live any attack from Como. Ah, sh yeah, no, that's fine. Overheat goes into that one. Focus Blast. Ooh. Into Zoomerill. That's doing nothing, man. Did you forget I'm a fairy? Como dies. Okay, so Scarf Kuno is now back into a good position because of this. Tornadus has to go for a fly here. It's going to do big damage into Azumarill, though. Ooh, Mama Swine. Um, Mama was a little bit of a difficult one. Because if he goes for a... He's obviously going for fly into Azumarill there. Um... If he goes for a Protect on Mamo, I think he could get me. He could get game, but I'm always at speed here, so otherwise. Um, I, don't, I don't remember how much damage Fly did to Azumarill the first time. So I'm just going to go for an Aqua Jet into Mamo. Break a Sash if it's there. Fly into Zoomerill. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. I, I, I lived that way more than I thought I did. Overheat, don't miss. Okay, Mamo goes down. And I think Torn. Uh, I think my um, Slazzle. Not Slazzle. I think I've got this with Articuna now. So. I think we just go for Sludge Bomb Chip. And Aqua Jet Chip before he goes up for a fly. Yeah, that's big damage. Okay, superpower. Oh, dude, that's 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 upsetting to see. This Imperial's just too strong. Uh, okay, and that's game because Sludge Bomb. Here and then off jet to finish it off. GG's. No protect, Gumi. That's interesting. I feel like if you protected in some of those places, you'd have been fine. Oh well. Uh, we win game one pretty comfortably, 2 0, and game three, well, 3 3 0. Um, I think the downfall was the fighting moves into Azumarill, which was kind of weird, and a fly tornadus. I don't really know what the plan was with that. Um, but no, my prep seemed to pay off. I was going to bring a High Dragon into these games, but felt like I never needed to. Um, and Gorygeist, well, Gorygeist was always only that really there if Dreadnought came and was an issue and with speed and stuff. But no, that went more or less a plan. Like I prepped for that like, game two lead so much, so so much, and I definitely knew it was the right play to fake out the Rotom first there, so that I didn't get extra damage on me after he gets the Tailwind up. And I think that's what really helped me position well in game two. Uh, that and the insane bulk that is Assault vs. Zoomerill. Taking that Focus Blast and Superpower and Fly. Pretty nice. Pretty good. Um, GG's. And yeah, that, this is the last bit of content I've got on my channel for a while now. I've got nothing else planned. So see you when I see you. Thanks for watching, guys.